What does a software engineer do? Are you listening? Hey guys, I'm Caleb King. I'm a software engineer. And in this video, we're gonna cover what it's like being a software engineer and what you can expect if you wanna get into this field. This video is sponsored by Loom.com. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of email. It is so slow. So Loom is the ultimate solution to improving communication in the workplace. It's video messaging for work. Record your screen, your camera, or both, and it's available for desktop and mobile. Now look, technology has made business a lot easier, but it's also made it a lot harder too. Meetings are filled with too many people who need to be in the loop, and it's getting harder to be heard or recognized, especially out of everybody's mouth. And this is where I really love Loom. It lets you say more in less time so you can actually get back to being productive. You're gonna get unlimited creator seats, unlimited video, unlimited recording link, transcription, closed captioning, and filler word removal. So the next time you're about to write a three paragraph email, stop and use Loom instead. It's quicker, it's easier, and it's more efficient. So what is software engineering? So software engineering is defined as a process of analyzing user requirements and then designing, building, and testing software applications which will satisfy those requirements. Sorry, it's not just team builders, going go-kart racing, free movies, free food, random trips to Bali, or unmuting yourself on Zoom saying, no major updates for me. It can be those things, but it's usually much more. Now, I've been a software engineer for about 15 years now, and now I'm showing my age a little bit, and it's been a very interesting ride. And my track was a mix of traditional and non-traditional, but overall, I'm pretty happy with the career choice. Now, before we dive into the nitty gritty of software engineering, we need to talk about the software crisis, AKA the blip before Thanos. Software crisis is a term used in the early days of computer science for the difficulty of writing useful and efficient computer programs in a required amount of time. Remember, there was a time before you were around your parents and your parents didn't have anybody to go to to fix the TV remote or get Netflix working or turn it off and turn it back on to fix everything. They had to figure it out. And this was back in the 60s and 70s when people thought the internet and computers were more or less dumb things. Now, as organizations started to leverage computers to handle business, their software crisis started to occur. And it was simply due to the rapid increase of computer powers and the complexity of the problems that could be tackled that were not even a thing before. So this, again, imagine a bunch of non-techies trying to get organized with building applications. Imagine your parents when they were in their 20s, 30s, and 40s trying to understand a computer at the same time trying to make things with computers without having any understanding how they work behind the scenes. And this is pre-Google, pre-Stack Overflow, Yahoo, Bing, Yellow Pages, nothing could help them. And this led to a Thanos blimp, otherwise known as the software crisis in the real world. So because the Avengers weren't a thing yet, the solution to the problem was transforming unorganized coding efforts into a software engineering discipline. So these engineering models help companies streamline operations and deliver software meeting customer requirements. So the late 70s, we saw a widespread of software engineering principles. The 80s saw automation. And the 90s has seen an increase on management aspects of software development. And look, you don't necessarily need to know all the details of these things, but just know it all started with an idea that blossomed into the world we live in today. So what do software engineers do today? The textbook answer is software engineers create programs that make the digital world possible. They design the guts behind social media programs, web pages, as well as all the programs that make your computer and smartphone function. So Facebook, that's software engineering. Twitter, that's software engineering. People in tech.io, that's teaching you about software engineering. OnlyFans, your hidden secret, that was built using software engineering. You're welcome. Using the engineering principles, which are a set of rules, ideas, concepts that guide them during the creation process. Software engineering approaches problems, approaches projects in a systematic way, where they are researching, analyzing, designing, testing, and repeating a process until coming up with the final product that meets 
the predetermined objective. The same way I create content for you guys, you need a system. You need to create a system that allows you to rinse and repeat. And anything else, over time, you can find ways to improve that system. So overall responsibilities include modifying existing software applications, creating new software applications from scratch, analyzing and designing full software systems, using design documentation and flowcharts to illustrate what needs to happen, working with software developers, designers, managers, stakeholders, coders, programmers, all these people to bring something together. At the same time, keeping factors such as safety, cost, deadlines all in mind and at the end of the day write some type of documentation so the next person isn't completely clueless of what's going on how to pick up and how to contribute to now some of you might be asking Kayla what's the difference between software engineer and software developer look for the sake of this video they're pretty much one and the same if you really wanted to be annoying and act super technical then you could say software developers write the code the operating systems and applications used to run they identify the software needs to do, then create the programming to make it happen. But in many respects, this is exactly what a software engineer does. However, some people would say is software engineering not only writes the code, they will also create everything using a bigger picture approach. But honestly, when people argue this, it's like the same argument between Coke and Pepsi, Android, iPhone, PS5, Xbox, me versus Kanye. Like for the most part, they're all one and the same. So what is programming? A key component to being a software engineer is to develop a strong foundation in computer programming. And a computer program consists of code that is executed on a computer to perform particular tasks. And this code is written by programmers. So programming is really just the process of giving machines a set of instructions that describe how a program should be carried out. Fast forward to today, when people are talking about programming, they're really talking about writing code in JavaScript, Java, Python, all these programming languages you hear about, and they all have their pros and cons. But end of the day, those programming languages, they take the code and get translated into what's known as machine language or machine code. That machine code goes on into your toaster, your iPhone, your microwave, your oven. It gets translated in a language that the robots, the machines can understand, which is pretty much zeros and ones. And at that point, you actually have the instructions needed. So that is pretty much what programming is. It's giving a set of instructions to be carried out. Now look, different programming languages means different types of software engineers. There are a lot of different types of software engineers. And my advice is to start off with what kind of technology do you wanna work with? Do you wanna build websites, apps, IoT, games, robot, maybe a Terminator? There are hundreds of programming languages in existence. And usually developers will consider the needs of the application so then they can decide the language so anytime somebody tells you just learn python just learn javascript that person is not actually helping you because the first question they should be asking is what do you want to do do you want to do machine learning assembly language procedural languages scripting languages functional languages object oriented languages look i don't know what any of that means caleb perfect then i'm going to ask you questions like what type of software engineer do you want to be? Do you want to make websites? Do you want to do mobile games? Do you want to do game development? Ask those questions and then work backwards. That's the best way to get into software engineering because far too often people just go tell you learn one language and then like you might start learning that language like I did and then really not know what the F you're doing because you're not working backwards. You're working on a endless map or endless road that you really don't know what journey you're actually on because you don't even know what destination you're trying to move towards. So what do software engineers make? Now, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, they don't really use the term software engineering, but to keep it simple, it's around $100,000. And if you watch TikTok, YouTube, and other mediums, you guys know it can be 100 to 200 to 500K. Like I know some people who are damn near millionaires because of software engineering. So it really comes down to supply and demand, more organizations need more tech because of the pandemic more people have gone remote requiring them to have more tech solutions so it's not only a great time to become a software engineer but it's been easier ever simply because we live in an information age so you might be asking do i need a degree to become a software engineer and the answer is no Back in the day, colleges were the gatekeepers, but with tools like YouTube, Google, Quora, TikTok, Twitter, Free Code Camp, JetBrain, PeopleInTech.io, you guys know I have to throw that one in there. You can learn to be any type of developer. You can learn how to become a software developer. And look, if you want to know how to become a software developer, that's another video coming soon. But what did we miss? Did you learn anything new watching this video? Let us know in the comments below. And look, tell me what was your first programming language or tell me probably like a bad experience 
getting into software engineering because i'll tell you from personal experience i started off with php because they told me that was going to be the best language for a long time and boy were they wrong but i don't regret it what was your first programming language but that's all we got for you guys tech out make sure to check out books.peopleintech.io to get on the waitlist for level up programming the ultimate developer guide later